on a personal on a personal note I think anyone who drives, everyone's got their story of a close call or so for my, for this job on a normal year, I drive about 100,000 kilometers. And that's because I live far from here and far from an airport. So by the time I get to the airport, I must just keep going. <laughs> that's just, that's, that's a simple way to put it. By the time you drive two hours to the airport and you have to wait at the airport for an hour, you might as well just drive the five and a half hours. And my riding is seven hours by five hours wide at 100 kilometers an hour. So I do a lot of driving. And fortunately, I don't mind driving. Lots of time to think, lots of time. But because I do dri a lot of driving, I've had my fair share of close calls. Uh, one moose, one bear, uh, several skunks. Skunks aren't lethal, but uh, <laughs> skunk, skunks are not fun. The, 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 the bear I hit at about 50 clicks, and the bear just kept right on going. He was doing 60 or 70. Wow. And the moose, I uh, was very fortunate. Um, um, the moose, I'm going to tell the moose story. I got to, I gotta tell the moose story. So... <laughs> I went to a, um, I, it was a, one of my towns, Iroquois Falls, a former uh, pulp and paper town, and now it's become basically a bedroom community for several other bigger cities. And I was at a public meeting and someone wanted to talk to me about something, so we met at Tim Hortons. It was October. If you walk into a Tim Hortons in Northern Ontario, all the people there are, and they know who you are, they're gonna, they are gonna go, and the, you know what the number one issue is in Tim Hortons in October, in Iroquois Falls? Haven't had a moose tag in at least 20 years, or 25 years, you know? And what are these politicians doing about the moose? And, right, and it's good natured, but they go after you. But everybody's wearing NDP orange. Oh, that's why I joined, even, I joined the NDP in October, because I thought it was a sure bet, but anyway. That's not actually true. <laughs> I'm just qualify that. But, but anyway, so I, I met this, met with the, the lady, and we talked. And I don't really like driving out of, your, out of that part at night because there's moose. But it was dark. It was about 10 o'clock, and I was going down Highway 11, and I was doing 80 clicks. And all of a sudden, my windshield was full of the moose was in the same lane as I was and going the same direction. Didn't, and it went over my windshield. I pulled to the side, and I, 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 luckily the airbags didn't go off or anything, but I went to open my door. Door didn't open, so okay. So I called 911. Uh, in that part of my riding, there is 911. Um, the police dispatcher was right, and the police were, the first question they asked was, is the, um, is the moose still on the road? Because that's a hazard to other people. No, a couple cars have gone by me at full speed, and obviously they didn't encounter the moose. So, police came, and a uh, tow truck came. We could talk about tow trucks. Tow trucks came. And uh, there's not a, there, in Iroquois Falls, there is not a war over who can control that stretch of highway. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just happy if we can find a tow truck. But, but <laughs> the member of Sudbury's laughing because he knows. Anyway, tow truck came, and then the OPP officer came up to me. He said, uh, John, we found the moose. And under Ontario law, it's yours. <laughs> I didn't have a car. <laughs> Proud owner of a moose, <laughs> but and and the officer said and and it's 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 not deceased yet. The back legs are broken. It's stunned, like it's not feeling anything, but it, it's not dead yet. So, you have the first choice. So, well, can I do anything I want with that moose? Yep, it's your moose. 
I had the phone number for one of the buddies of Tim Hortons. <laughs> I called him. <laughs> so, you might not have had a moose tag in 20 years, but if you show up at Meadow Creek in the next couple minutes, I got you a moose. <laughs> sure enough, <laughs> the police waited till he came, him and his wife came, and they field dressed the moose. So I, I and the car, uh, there's a few people in the insurance industry here, because the airbags didn't go off and the car was still relatively new, I think they spent $12,000 fixing it. But luckily, I was okay. A couple days later, I got a call from uh, the couple who I'd given the moose. And they called and they asked how I was feeling. Well, I said, I'm okay, a bit of a sore neck, but I'm fine. And, she, and so she said, well, we field dressed the moose. I know, I was there when you field dressed the moose. So well, then we took the, the, yeah, the carcass. What do you, what's a nice word for? No, the sides, yeah, the sides of the moose. To the local value mart, and they butchered them or cut them into pieces of meat. And, she, and her name is Evelyn. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. She's probably going to be embarrassed when I tell you this story, but she's a wonderful lady. <laughs> I never thought I'd tell this story unless it Anyway, she, she called and she said, John, we're just, uh, we're just having our, making some meat pies, and we're wondering if you would like some moose hamburg for your meat pies. I said, well, Evelyn, um, Dutch people, meat pies isn't really in our culture. It's a big thing in the Francophone culture, tortilla, big thing in the Francophone culture. I said, like, she what? I said, yeah, yeah re like really, it's, it's, it's a Francophone thing. Tortilla is a very Francophone thing. She's, she, and so Evelyn, you could hear Evelyn, she yells back to her husband, Frank, which I could hear on the phone. She says, Frank, John says that only French people eat meat, eat meat pies. <laughs> so so Frank, Frank goes, that's stupid politician. Everyone we know eats meat pies. So, <laughs> Evelyn says, uh, John, um, Frank says that all our friends eat meat pies, or make meat pies. I said, well, and are all your friends French? <laughs> she goes, except you. <laughs> and, then, and, 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 then, and then she said, what about your spaghetti. And before I had a chance to say anything, she said, don't tell me that Dutch don't eat spaghetti. <laughs> and I had to admit that it's not part of our culture to cook spaghetti or to cook tortillas, but we would gladly eat spaghetti. <laughs> and so Evelyn baked us some meat pies and they were fantastic. So that is my moose story.